Best Practices in Distance Learning, a panel discussion from Mission College in Santa Clara, California. Do you want to use Angel to teach online or web-enhanced classes? How can you set up a virtual or supplemental classroom in Angel? How can you use Angel Mail, discussion boards, quizzes, drop boxes, and other tools to enhance learning? How can you utilize Publisher's online course materials? How can you use CCC Confer to tutor students and deliver live interactive presentations? How can you create community and engage students in rich and purposeful learning in a virtual environment? I'd like to welcome you to the panel, Best Practices in Distance Learning, brought to you by the Distance Learning Committee of Mission College, some members. There are seven of us today who are going to present a little something, a little nugget about what we're doing with online learning and with web enhanced learning. So I'd like to see how many of you are already teaching a class online. Okay, what are you teaching? Staff. You're teaching staff? Okay. And you're teaching? Mathematics. Mathematics. Okay, that's sociology and teleports. Sociology and teleports. Teleports, not online. Not online, okay. And how many? And accounting. And accounting. Okay, and I'm teaching ESL. And how many of you are... And Account. Accounting. Great. And how many of you are interested in adding an online component to uh, an existing face-to-face -face class? Oh, that's a lot. Okay. And any departments? What kind of classes? It's, uh, it's mm -hmm. going to be um, um, video game design, actually. Video game design? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good luck. And do you Child development. Great. The introduction to hospitality. Cool. Are you with this? Yeah, human biology. Human bio. Uh huh. Any other ideas of adding stuff onto an existing class, or maybe doing some sort of um, partially online and partially face-to-face -face hybrid kind of class? I'm interested in, in part and part for our part and part more of our offerings. Uh huh. For more offerings, yeah. we can do some of it online and some of it with the students coming. Mm -hmm. Face-to-face. -face. Okay, well, we have a, a very nice panel of people who are going to talk about some ideas. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to be talking a little bit about um, how you can set up your virtual or supplemental classroom in, in Angel. And we decided to stick to Angel because that is the course management system that we're using here in West Valley Mission Community College District. So why don't we just stick to that one? And we're also going to talk a little bit about how you can enhance your classes by using Angel Mail, discussion boards, quizzes, drop boxes, and a few of the other tools. Um, some of you might be interested in seeing how you can use publishers courseware in your own course and blend it in with, with or without Angel. Um, we also have some speakers on CCC Confer, which is the California Community College uh, web conferencing system. And basically, it's about creating a kind of a community with your students that makes them feel like they belong to a group rather than they're just on the opposite side of some computer. So um, we have Angel Gradebook Categories and Organizing Homework by Britta Burton, who is our ESL department, and Assessments using Angel for Web Enhanced <coughs> Classes and Distance Learning Classes. Greg Mostyn in Accounting will talk to us about that. Angel drop boxes, how you can access them, maybe not only one instructor but more and how students get, get into them. And Kathy Moles from ESL is going to present that one. Angel Mail and using Course Compass, which is from a publisher. Um, let's see, Betty Christopher in accounting is going to talk about that. Uh, did I skip one by mistake? Uh, Ms. Mindy Jo, sorry. Mindy Jo in math is going to talk about the Course Compass because both of them are using uh, them for math and for accounting. Um, uh, Cha Chan from the LATC is going to talk about online accounting tutoring using the CCC Confer system. And I'll also show some archives of web presentations that I've done with my ESL.